in this video, we are about to go to the Ben Ten Market. Original. Original, right? Are you copy? I like this quality. Feels actually pretty good. I've been walking around for like about seven minutes at 10 minutes and I'm literally lost already. For a fact, I know I'm colorblind, but I feel like the color's off on that one for sure. You already know that's too much. Come on. <laughs> 100 and What is good to the YouTube family? Right now, we are in Benvin, the walking street of Vietnam, and we just ordered a grab, bro. To go from here to the Benten market is costing me 14,000 dong. Bro, that's not even a dollar. Can't beat it. So, before we get started, make sure to follow all the social media, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, we're giving you all the best content. Now, let's get over here to the Benten market. This is my guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sing Chow. Sing Chow. Did you? Did, yep. That's my guy, let's get it. Yeah, so we, we out here dripped out. We about to make it over to the Benthem Market and you gotta, helmets first, safety first. God, the traffic here is unmatched. Unmatched, bro. We just made it right here to the Benthem the Benthen Market. This place I hear is huge. So let's see if we get some deals, some steals. Let's try to get it. Let's see what they got. I hope I'm saying it right, Benthen. Ooh. It's starting off crazy, okay. All the watches. Seen Chow, seen Chow. Ciao. Ciao. Look at this. Nice. These are nice. These are nice. What you got? Rolex? Yeah. I Let me that. see. What, what the price of your Rolex? Let me yeah. see. Let me see some. Let me. You never know. I could get you some business, man. What you got over here? Oh yeah, business today not good for me. Why? Well, what happened? You this can is. Buy one, okay? This is big. This is a big place. Yeah. How much do these go for? Two million five hundred dollars. Two hundred. Two million? Two million uh, five hundred dollars. Same, same one hundred dollar. Okay. You can see. Is that original. Original, yeah. right? Are oh. you copy? I like you got like uh like APs and stuff or AB, no? Let AB, me see. AB here, Ogimadi. Let me see. Because my followers would love to see this. Let me see the prices. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh my wow. god. Okay, Aiden Ross, watch out. Let's go. How much do these go for? Same, same. Same two million? Two million. How much is that in um US? That's like a hundred, right? Yeah. Uh, you so get two, I come down. If you get two, you go down yeah, price. Yeah, yeah. So two million for APs and Rolexes. Yeah, yeah. And these are first copies? Yeah. Okay, okay. Something that one one million. One million five. Seventy dollars. This is nice. You get some good prices out here, guys. I like it. I'm a YouTuber, so that said, I'm, I'm making a video about the Ben 10 market. So, guys, when you first come yeah. in on the right side, this is my guy. What's your name? My name is Wing Lu. Wing Lu? Yeah. Look, we're going we gonna to show him some support. We got some good Rolexes, APs. Make sure you come show him some love right yeah. here on the right side when you first come in. Okay. Like I said, I give support everywhere, man. Okay. I appreciate you, man. But it's really, really nice, all man. Right, Thank all you. Right, all right, sir. See, we got to show love to everybody. And when you come here, my guy is on the right side. Show him some love. He got good energy. Look at this. Sing chow, sing chow. What's up? What's up? What's up? Look at this. Yeah. Honestly, the front side, sing chow. All the front side is mostly all high quality watches. Again, in the comments, let me know if these things look real or if they look totally off. I wouldn't know because, as you can see, I don't wear watches. Because as a traveler, I don't want no extra attention that isn't needed. Some chows. Oh, wow, this thing looks crazy. Okay, we already see a whole bunch of knockoffs, good, good Supreme stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking for Every country I go to, I at least want to get one tank top of the country's name or something. So 
If they got a good Vietnam shirt, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, they got suits? Nah, I wouldn't get no suits out here. Getting suits out here, you're literally dripping in sweat. You know what, let's make a right. Let's make a right. What? Ooh, this, this fabric feels soft. Team Chow, Team Chow. And I'm not gonna lie, this quality feels actually pretty good. Like, how much are the, the watch, I mean, um, the wallets? Like, the wallets, how much? Which one? Like, the Gucci ones, I don't know, how much do these go for? 280. 280? Yeah. Dong? Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay, good too. And the quality does feel good. These are first copies? If you want Gucci one, I got Gucci one, but it's expensive. It's more expensive, of course. Yeah. So, mid-tier mid, mid -tier is ha not that not expensive, but if you want good, good quality, you're gonna spend a lot more. Oh, snap, but I fall. And remember, when it comes to these type of markets, I don't care if this is the first time I'm here. 99% of these people have all the same thing. They're all gonna give you the same exact price. You're gonna find it. You're gonna find the shirt that you want here. The quality from the camera, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm not even gonna lie to you. It feels like good, good quality here. And you know, especially all these manufacturers, they all get it from Vietnam and China. So these qualities are actually good first copy qualities. But like, I don't even want to go half down this thing because you could get really lost in here. There's so many damn watches. They got so many, so many damn jerseys. So many damn jerseys. Also get some no face puffers. I feel like I'm literally walking around the circus. I feel like I'm watching the same exact things over and over. There's not that much different here. All these people have honestly the same exact things. Look at that walking down some crammed ass alley. <laughs> yeah, this place is jammed packed. Jam packed over here. If you can go left, you can go right. Sing <sighs> Chow, I've been walking around for like about seven minutes at 10 minutes and I'm literally lost already. <laughs> it's like you walk around, it's like deja vu everywhere you go. Oof. How much do these go for? These are nice actually. Like the North Face ones, how much those normally go for? Which yeah. one do you like, sir? Like a regular, like the black North Face ones here. Uh, 500,000. 500,000 dong? It's not terrible, not terrible. And these, cause these are good copies, right? Yeah. First copies, how much do these go for? 700. 700 dong? Because the quality, I'm telling you, this is Vietnam. This is where a lot of the stuff come from. So chow. Like you literally have, oh, come on. I want, I want this one in black, bro. That's what I want so damn bad. Ooh, guys, they even got some Dior's, Jordans, we gotta see how much these cost. We gotta see. These are Dior's, look at this. How much those go for? How much? Yeah. Well, ooh, why you smile like that? She already know that. She already know that's too much. Come on. <laughs> hundred and fifty. She smiled because she knew that was too much. Yes, better come, smile. Nah, come on. You have a nice smile, but come on. Wow. And these? The Travis Scott, same price? Hmm? Travis Scott, same price? One million dollars. One million? I think that's like $50 US, right? $50? Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. She smiled at me so hard because she knew damn well that was not going to be a good price. <laughs> you, got, you got to learn how to negotiate. A lot of designer here. Mm, these are, I mean, I think for a fact, I know I'm colorblind, but I feel like the color's off on that one for sure. But honestly, these are pretty good quality here. How much did these go for? One, one million two hundred. And these are first copies or good copy? Okay, that's not too bad, not too bad. Look how jam packed this place is. So many damn stalls. But what I've heard from YouTube, these people, this is like a tourist destination. 
So I'm telling you right now, they gonna mark the price up like crazy. So if you don't know how to negotiate, there's a 99% chance you're about to get hustled. So learn how to negotiate. I normally cut whatever they say in half and go from there because yeah, they will try to hustle you every chance they get. Now, I want everybody to comment down below. If I buy something from here, is it fake? Because technically Vietnam is the biggest um, manufacturer for all these goods here. So if I buy it from the manufacturer, is it still fake? That's a good question. Comment down below, let me know. And you can even get food. Oh, now this actually, I'm gonna walk around, but I'm definitely 100% gonna get some food out here. Let me walk through here real quick. Actually reasonable. 50,000, 60,000 dong is really good. Oh, thank you. Xin chào. Cảm ơn. Thank you. I, I would expect the prices to be a lot more, but they're actually pretty affordable. 50,000, that's like $2. $2 here. You see 60,000. When you see 50, 60,000 for a meal, that's reasonable. Anything more than like $3, bro, they'd just be trying to tax. Like you can see all the local people here. That means when you see local people, that means that it's actually good stuff. You know what? I'm hungry now. I just walked myself into hunger right now. I don't even know what the hell to get. I, I want a lot of um, pork. You like more? Yeah, I like. Extra. Yeah, I like pork, chicken. That's what I like. You like soup or rice? Huh? You like noodle soup or soup? Noodle soup. Soup. Okay, I have. Oh. Bro, this guy literally cooked it. I don't know if he cooked it or what in like five seconds. Like, what the hell? Let's see what he gave me. Let's see what he gave me. Look, he gave me with the shrimp, chicken, pork, noodles. Ooh, ooh. I'm already hungry. My mouth is watery. It's good? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Now, let's see how this tastes. Let's see if this is busting. Yeah, my noodle game is up there too. Wow. He did his thing. Oh, damn. And I get a shrimp. We gotta try that. Yeah, he did that. Is it? The, the guy just met this Japanese, what, Yoki, right? Yu, Yuki? Yuki. Yuki, I just met Yuki right here. She's giving me a present. She said in her country, what is this in your country? Japan. Japan? Yeah. But how you make? My mom. Your mom make them? Yeah. Oh me my God. My I'm gonna cherish this. Oh my gosh, she said I can pick one. I don't know which one I want. Which one is the best one? Which one you like? Hey, you. Which one you like? For me. Uh, yuka. Yuka. Yeah, give me, yuka. give me yuka. You like that? <laughs> it's her smile. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Yo, I'm gonna literally cherish this. I swear, as a traveler, little things like this go a long way with me, and I promise you, I'm gonna have this for the rest of my trip. I promise you. <laughs> This is the best. Oh my God, I love it. She told me her mom prayed on all of these and to spread peace. I love this. Thank you. How do you say arigato? Arigato. Arigato, look. Yo, she's the best. Thank you. Look, this is what you call love right here. She's spreading so much love. You gotta say arigato. Arigato, look at that. Arigato. Arigato. Arigato, look. <laughs> They bombarding her right now. Oh my God, this is beautiful. All right, that right there was only 60,000. Meeting that girl was amazing. And uh, I'm good, thank you. Cup on, look, yo, I'm literally gonna cherish this. Hey, sing chow, sing chow. Oh my God, I'm gonna cherish this with love right there. Oh my God, I can't believe that. And now, I'm a little stuffed, but let's see what else we can find in this damn market. I just seen a rat just run like a motherfucker right there. <laughs> Oh my god. Sin chow. Oh, what is this? You got some liquor? 
talk about liquor on the damn market? What? Oh, this is this is that tour they were talking about. 100% not worth it. All right, this like another side of this. What? Oh, shorty's gone. Gone. I'm about to take a melon. Mm. <laughs> damn, I didn't even realize how much, how long I was eating for. It's already nighttime outside. Oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sin chao. And then, yeah, my phone. I, I got, yo, literally, I had to make sure I got my phone. Sin chao. Sin chao. Now we're going to go to the outside. Let's see what the heck they got out here. Because, guys, I'll be real with you. This place is huge. And I literally just started. And this is like, bro, this thing goes on for so damn long. You got but I'm being, I gotta be honest, you know I keep it real, bro. Like, as a foreigner, they be trying to hustle you guys. Like, if you don't know how to negotiate, do not come here. Because, bro, I remember I was walking and this guy asked the lady, like, for a regular shirt, how much it was. This lady was like $18 US. Bro, if you don't know how to negotiate, you're gonna get hustled really, really bad. I swear. That girl just gave me so much mad positivity energy, man. I swear to God. Like, I don't know if it's just a little... Bro, show her some love. I'm going to tag her in the video as well. I need all of you guys to support her, man. Literally, that is the first person that did that in my traveling. And I went to Thailand, Cambodia, and a random Japanese girl showed me so much damn love. It has to be the biggest fake market over here in Vietnam. Like... They got literally every type of knockoff. Every knockoff you need, they got it here. They even got the Gucci panties, your Gucci panties. Like, look at this. Like, you got the big duffel. God, this is like jam-packed alley over here. You have tank top? Like this? But Vietnam, Vietnam. How much do these go for? But I need black, you have black? How much? You crazy? You you? No. The two fifty? No, I don't even want two hundred. Two fifty, way too much. Yo, Shorty said two hundred and fifty thousand dong. What? Not. I wouldn't even want to negotiate with that. You got your Dior or uh, Christian Dior's right here. Like, come on, give me my Vietnam shirt. Give me my Vietnam shirt. I really want my Vietnam. Like, I know, like, I don't even care if it's this, if it's this. I just want something that says Vietnam on it. Xin Chao. Excuse me, Xin Chao. You know who has these? I'm looking for Vietnam um, tank top. Okay. Like this, extra large. Oh, I don't care if it's this. But I just wanted them. I just wanted them black, or like even these. How much do these go for? How much? One hundred dong. But look, look, I, I don't, I don't show you. I just want to buy shirt. I come here to spend money. I make video, but don't worry about camera. No, 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 no. One hundred. Oh my God! Literally, she just looked at the camera, and just like got so pissed off. I wasn't even facing it at her. Oh my God! <laughs> Sometimes. Hey, brody, you gotta take a chill pill. That, that's what I've learned so far. The minute you show a camera, bro, these people get all bent out of shape. They don't want nobody to know that you get a cheaper price. Wow, like, yeah. <laughs> that was just a clear, clear way you can see right there. Like, nobody likes the camera, and they don't even realize, like, a lot of these people just don't understand that this camera could bring so much business to their store. But they just so like don't understand the whole logic of it. Imagine this video goes viral and then I buy the shirt from her and now everybody goes to her to buy the shirt and she makes 20, 30 times as much money as she did before. But yeah, the logic in these people just don't understand marketing. Without marketing, how are these people gonna know about the prices or know how to pay for stuff? Like I said, these people just are oblivious to social media, oblivious. Like, as you can see, they all have literally the same stuff but i really want i'm literally not looking for nothing else but vietnam i'm gonna try to put the camera down and get a good price because 
I'm looking for something like this. But of course, the minute they see the camera, it's just like, oh my God, it's like Mission Impossible. And just to show you, bro, this lady said 220, brother. Yeah, I'm not paying that price. We're not paying that price. We definitely got discount, but I had to put the camera away. That one, see, I told you, I told you, we are gonna secure a damn shirt in every country. And this lady started at, Almost two. Market. Thank you. I love it here. Thank you. I love it here. Literally, this lady started at 250 dong. I literally, I was like, yo, I'm going to put down my camera. And that price, I'm not even joking, 80,000 dong, bro. I'm telling you, it's the camera. When people out in different countries see cameras, all they see is money. And the minute you put the camera down, they want to they wanna give you a better price. But, yo, sometimes you got to learn how to negotiate and put the camera down. I couldn't record the transaction because she's over here being all, all butthurt about it. But, like I said, we secured a Vietnam shirt, so I'm super, super hype about that. And I'm going to give you the last-minute walkthroughs here. Look how many alleys. Look how many, bro. And they all literally have the same stuff. And it's about, I want to say, like 7.30, 8 o'clock. I said, this is the prices, this is what you could expect when you come here. I said, the copies, a thousand percent, like all these stuff is legit. It's legit, I like it. Um, sing chow, sing chow. Look at this. Like these, these copies are legit. Like I'm telling you, I please let me know in the comments, guys. This is Vietnam where every damn U.S. manufactures all their damn clothes. If you buy something from here, is it fake? It does not make sense if it's fake because this is where they buy it from. So it's only real if you're spending quadruple the price. If you could get it for a fraction of the price and then you call it fake, it just doesn't make sense. This is what, so that means Nike buys it for fake and then they give it to you and now it's real. Make that make sense. I'm just gonna keep on showing y'all. Like you see this? I don't even know what row I'm on. They have no like, Numbers, like what? I don't know the difference here. As you can see, look, I'm literally walking around and you can see these are all the same stuff and they're packing up right now. Like they're literally packing up right now. So for reference, by 7.30, 7 o'clock, these people are already packing up. Sing chow, sing chow. No, thank you. Like, these people are already packing up and normally sing chow. Nice smile, nice smile. All right, so we're about to wrap this up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm so excited I got this for 80,000 dong. I think that comes out to like $3 and like 10 cents, $3 and like 20 cents. To me, it's 100% worth it. Every country I go to, wow, she smelled good. Every country I go to, I don't care how much I gotta spend. I just need to take one shirt from each country. I'm gonna have like a freaking wall of all these damn shirts. And when I have kids, I wanna be like, yo, your father went to all these different countries. I got all these shirts, all these things over here. I'm gonna have the shirts, I'm gonna have the currency and all that. So make sure you guys follow all the social media. I want you to follow my Instagram, my TikTok. I want you to subscribe to the damn channel because you know for a fact, who's giving y'all this content out here? Nobody. And if y'all wanna make this money travel the world, go to the description. I am a living proof that you can work from home. A person from Brooklyn, New York could do it. You can do it. i see you guys in the next one. Just to show y'all, I'm trying to go home right now and this is gonna cost me 14,000 dong. That is not even a dollar. How does that make sense? I'm not complaining.